It's, it's a, a Gundam! Gundam! What is up everyone and thank you for joining us once again on the DSR01 channel. I'm your host Dexter Raffilis and today I am so psyched that we finally get a new wave of Gundam Universe figures. It has been a hot minute since we have seen these guys and that's probably because of an evil virus called COVID-19 that is somewhat delaying every toy out there that's coming from Japan. So we're gonna unbox these, we're gonna look at paint detail, articulation, and scale, and accessories. Janelle is here! Say hello. Hello! And where can you get these at, hun? That's where you can get these at, www.dstartoys.com, your reliable source for awesome action figures. That's right, we have these guys there. Very inexpensive. We're looking at $22.99 per figure. Wow! Wow! Whoa! <laughs> I know. I am so psyched about these figures. I especially love the Gundam Easy 8 I'm going to open that one first. I can't wait. I know you guys want Wing, you want Strike Gundam, but you know what? 8th MS Team was one of my favorite animes. You know, we should watch that anime. It's fantastic. Fantastic. Sure watched bits and pieces. Yes, it is it is really good. One of my favorite uh, Gundam side stories. So now with me talking, Janelle, let's get in the paint detail first, and we're looking at this figure. Let's go to Top Cam. You know exactly how we do this here. Last but not least, we have finally reached 50k subscribers. What? Nice. Nice. I'm so psyched about that. Uh, the giveaway will happen on October 5th. I will announce it. So yeah, don't forget to go into the description. Actually, probably not in the description anymore, but yeah, um, yeah, we're gonna do that giveaway on the 5th of October, 2020. All right, now let's look at the front cam. Enough of that. Enough self-promoting. We're here to look at action figures, right? We're not here self -promote. for self-promote. Yes, no, yes, we're not yes, here to self-promote. We we're here to look at awesome toys. Let's look at this awesome toy. First and foremost, when I look at this figure, when it comes to paint and detail, I thought he would be, in the anime, he looks more like a solid bright white but that's not how it should be because when you're out in the jungle you're gonna look a little bit dirtied up especially if you have that Gundam white so now we have a subdued white which almost gives it a grayish look and that's what I really loved about the EZ-8 is that it has a unique Gundam look while still maintaining the classic Gundam head right that's really why I like it uh, so that classic Gundam head is there Obviously, what's missing with the Gundam Universe figures um, is panel lining, but that's okay. That's something that you can do. So, it's missing a lot of those panel lining details, and it just screams, Hey, panel line me right here, right here, right here, give me some battle damage and whatnot. What we have here is a very clean-looking, uh, off-white, easy 8, and I, honestly, I like that. Especially with how this blue looks, it's kind of, what, what is it, turquoise, hun? Janelle, is that turquoise? Almost like a... Oh my gosh, it's like a, like, a, like a turquoise, almost royal blue. Yeah, touch. almost royal blue. Um, it's an interesting blend. Yeah. Honestly, I thought in the anime it was actually blue, but I guess now that we have this figure, I think it looks fine the way it is. And that is Easy 8 right there. He's looking absolutely fantastic. No complaints here, especially for a figure of this price point of $22.99 on dstartoys.com. I'm definitely going to panel line this one for my own collection. And yeah, let's do a quick joint check. All the joints are really nice and tight. Nothing super loose here. Quality control, and these are from Bandai, so you should expect solid quality control. Nothing loose, nothing falling out, no paint defects whatsoever. And he looks really solid. Janelle, give me some thoughts before we move on to articulation and scale. He looks a lot like the Gundams from the video games we used to yeah, play. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. You can still customize these. My, oh, sorry, customize these guys with like battle damage effects. Oh, of course, of course, that, right? with some, uh, with some uh, airbrushing or some paint, you can definitely get these guys to look really good. Which I actually do customizing here for all the people on YouTube. I go on twitchtv dstar one where I customize action figures. You can see it done live right now. We are customizing a Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta SH Figure Arts, so that's really fun. Might be a giveaway. Who knows? <laughs> Let's go into articulation and scale. We're looking at this figure. He is standing at, at the very top right here, six and a half inches tall. Of course, we gotta compare it with other Gundams from Gundam Universe, and what we're looking at here is the Gundam Unicorn. And these do scale really well, so if you want some fighting robots, super fighting robots, so you can have these two fighting. 
if you want. Uh, let's see. So one thing they don't match with, sadly, they don't match with robot spirits or robot damashi. Oh. Yeah, they don't. They do not match at all. But the thing is, when you're looking at robot damashi, you're paying a lot more, but you also get a lot more accessories when you buy these. So, and also, the, if you've been collecting them, they'll just have a more consistent scale where these are scaled bigger. If you want my honest opinion, um, this is just going to be a quick take right now. I'm starting to really think Gundam Universe is worth more in terms of like playability, posability, and value than Robot Damashi, even though I do like the Robot Damashis. Um, I've been on the lookout for a goof custom for so long, and I haven't found it, which would have been perfect for this type of thing because the goof custom is in 8th MS team and that's one of my favorite looking uh, um, Xeon um, uh, mechs there so anyway let's look at other action figures sure speaking of robot, da robot Damashi actually we have the Ava Zero One as you can see he's actually taller as he should be and let's see here let's go into anime characters SH figure arts UI Goku and of course Marvel Legends worthy cap Oh wow. Yeah, so they do scale well together. But obviously if this was 112 scale, he would be ginormous cuz Gundams are really big mecha. All right, um let's go into articulation. We have up and down here at the ankle with a really nice side swivel right there so you can get that solid um planted foot right there. We have two joint. Yeah, this is a double jointed knee right here, ball joint here at the crotch or as Ron would say at the giblets. We have Awesome ab crunch. So I don't know why you'd want ab crunches with your with your Gundams. His crotch piece fell out. Uh oh, everyone, don't look, <laughs> don't look. His crotch piece fell off. And we have decent. I think this is where things kind of go wrong when it comes to articulation. So we don't have a butterfly joint. So pretty much they just push forward like this. Uh, if I am not mistaken. Is the robot Damashi do that? So robot Damashi does have some um, butterfly joint, but not as much. So you don't have that either with uh, Gundam Universe. But we do have bicep silo right there, double jointed elbow right there, ball and peg here at the wrist, and a ball joint here at the neck, looking to be well above 20 points of articulation. Really fantastic. And let's do some moves here. Let's do a sure you can, sure you can. And of course we got to do a sweep kick right there, side kick. Front kick, can you do the splits? Can you can almost do the splits like that? Uh, let's see. So because we don't have butterfly joints, you give you a nice big hug right there. Sure, show off those guns right there. Pow, right there. And yep, there you go. Let's see if we can do a Shawn Michaels pose right there. And that looks good. I'd have to say nothing too wrong here. Just wish he had butterfly joints, but for this price point, I can't complain. Janelle takes it to the top cam. Let's look at accessories. Let's see what we're looking at here. We do not have a beam rifle, unfortunately, but we do have this machine gun right here, which looks really cool. We have the 8th MS Team shield right here, but you can't be a Gundam without the beam swords, so we have the beam swords right here with their beam swords. We do have the backpack right here. Oh, you know what I think is missing? He is miss totally missing the huge backpack that he comes with. Now I used to collect MSIA, Mobile Suits in Action. When you buy this one, the Mobile Suit in Action, he's smaller but he comes with this giant white backpack where he kept all his gear and stuff. Unfortunately, we do not have anything of that sort with this one. Ooh, all right, well, let's take this to the front cam. Let's see what we're looking at here. Let's outfit this. Guy. All right, and here is EZ-8, completely outfitted with his beam sword. We got his backpack right there. Uh, like I was saying on Twitch, I wish he came with the giant backpack that he has in the anime, but unfortunately we don't have that. We have him with his gun right here. The question I have, is the magazine removable? No, it is not. Uh, is this go, so it usually, it has a, oh, don't tell me they didn't put that. No! Okay, so in the mobile student action version, the rifle or the gun, uh, has a stock that extends. And this does not have that. So no removable magazine and no stock that extends. It pretty much just stays like this. So there you have it. And that's really it. So that is the Easy 8. We are done with that one. Right. Let's move on to the next Gundam. We are looking at 
a Gundam I did not watch, which was Gundam C. This is the Strike Gundam, the GT GATX05. Sorry, I keep messing up. Uh, let's go to Top Cam. Let's see how it is. Let's look at paint in detail. Okay. I'm pretty excited about this guy. He looks cool. Didn't get a chance to watch this. So for all my Gundam Seed fans out there, I apologize. But we're going to look at it and we're going to see if it's worth it. It looks really cool. Right? It looks cool. And let's look at paint detail right here. Look at this beautiful Gundam look from Gundam Seed. Ooh. Definitely the HUD sculpt is absolutely fantastic. Love that. Shoulders looking really good right there. The blue and the red. The classic blue and red Gundam. This Gundam definitely looks good. Noble 00 on twitch.tv forward slash dstar01 says it looks fantastic. And I have to say it does look really good. I love the way the Gundam C Gundams look, especially the Strike Gundam. It just looks really like just more modern, less boxy, more edges, uh, lots of stuff that you can do here. Definitely would take a Gundam marker and panel line this guy a lot to make him look even better fantastic action figure here looking really sharp with all the classic Gundam colors just love the design of this nothing too wrong with paint detail can't see any QC issues here let's do a quick joint check right here joints are really tight and nothing loose again you're looking at a solid figure nothing too wrong especially if you're a fan of Gundam C then this might be a figure you might want to get if you can find it but you know where you can find it Janelle <laughs> D-Star Toys. That's right. You get this at www.dstartoys.com. Yeah, that's awesome action figures. Let's go into articulation and scale. He has the same articulation points as the Easy 8, so I'm not going to waste your time and say, hey, let's do that all over again. No, this is all the same. Nothing's different as far as I can see. He doesn't even have butterfly joints. So let's just go to our uh, scale and let's see. He is standing at 6 inches tall. Here he is standing next to the EZ-8 we just looked at. Okay, so if you're looking to um, put those two together, you can. If you want to put them next to the Robot Damashi or Robot Spirits Ava-01, you can. Heck, you know what? Let's cross the anime platforms here. Sure, you want him to fight Goku? Absolutely, you can do that too. But you know what? Let's say he crossed that multiverse portal and decided to visit the Avengers. And he said, you know what, Captain America? Let's square off. I can beat you. I'm a Gundam. It's a Gundam! That's exactly what he is. Let's get some poses in. Sure, why not? Same range of motion. Looks like he can give you a nice big hug, or he can kick you, or he can side kick you, or he can knee you with that double jointed knee. Can you do some splits? That's as far as he goes. And yeah, let's do Let's say he wants to work out. Sure, you got some ab crunches, because you got to keep working out during this time of pandemic. And yeah, I have to say, it looks really good. Sure, one more thing. Keep forgetting. Don't want to forget. Sure, you can. Absolutely. And uh, there you go. Sure. Well, you know what? Some things I never do with Gundam especially. Got to do that. <laughs> looking really cool. All right. Let's see the accessories. General, take this to the top can. Let's see what we're looking at here. We have that classic Gundam shield right here. We're looking at the beam rifle. Again, the beam rifles on these, sadly, this, this handle goes to the side. So you have that Gundam that holds holds the holds the handle on the side, but unfortunately Gundam Universe decides not to give that to you, which is kind of sad. Uh, the accessories are there, it's just that they're not articulated. So, yeah, kind of sad. You know what he doesn't have, Janelle? Hmm. He doesn't have beam swords. Uh, Someone in chat. Is he supposed to share? Is he supposed to? No, he's he? supposed to. I guess not. I guess this one, like I said, I haven't watched Gundam Seed, so I don't know. So instead, he has these two uh, knives right here. So yeah, the shield is a thing of beauty. So let us outfit this guy and let's see how he looks right there. So there you have it. That is the Strike Gundam. Janelle, you haven't said much. What do you think? Looking good, huh? Yeah, I just, I'm trying to picture him with all of the, the customization. I think it would really help him pop better. Because yeah. right now the blue and the white just kind of blends. Right, I think that that's that's a that's a given when it comes to like anything Gundam. You think customization because of the model kits and whatnot, and they make specific Gundam markers and whatnot to give it a perfect panel lining and excellent color. So, last but not least, 
It's time to go just one beat, just communication. Love the art on this box. Yes, the Gundam Wing Zero. This is uh, from the movie OVA from Gundam Wing. Uh, what is it called? No, sorry, just Wild Beat Communication. My bad. Gundam Wing. Endless Waltz, thank you. Thank you. My goodness, oh, what is yeah. wrong with me? Well, Endless Waltz <laughs> hasn't come out. I haven't watched it since 97, so give me a <laughs> Like Nintendo 6 years, like, duh. Gosh, all right, let's do this. He's a good friend. <laughs> so here we have it. Here is the Gundam universe. You know you've been waiting for this one. I have been waiting for this one just because he has those wonderful, beautiful wings. Mm -hmm. And we're looking at Wing Gundam Zero. a really Zero. expensive figure just because he comes with the wings. Well, actually, no. He's only $22.99X. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You <laughs> fell for that one. At <laughs> www.dstartoys.com. You're a liable source for awesome action figures. Oh, did you just set me up for that one, Janelle? No, I was actually legitimately thinking that every time I wanted to, to get this figure mm -hmm. for the boys that it was always super expensive because of yeah the of fact course that it comes uh, with wings. yeah the uh, what is it master grade Gundam wing zero was almost like three hundred dollars at the time back in the day I don't know how much it is now and it had like beautiful wings it was metal and everything like oh fantastic uh, also the mobile suit and action figure was worth quite a lot I found it at a target hunting and I got it for about 15 bucks, and then I saw it on eBay for about 40 back in 2001, 2002. Yeah, this is a really nice toy. I have, I had most of them. But anyway, that's another story for another time. So let's look at this guy. Before we put on the wings and everything, let's just look at the base Gundam, right? You know what? We haven't really turned on some light. Let's let's that's make this nice. even brighter. So let's look here. Wow. This is the main event. This is what a lot of people will get get in this wave personally it's easy age for me but i know a lot of people loved endless waltz and i have to say this looks really good needs panel lighting like i said before but i'm not going to get any more into that you can do that on your own time but so far as a base like beautiful action figure beautiful sculpt whoo wow legs go on for days oh i'm i'm psyched <laughs> And I can't wait to put on the dual beam rifles and he puts them together. Oh, for the finale of Endless Waltz. Fantastic. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's look at the Gundam face real quick. Of course, we always got to look. They, they all have that classic Gundam face. And, man, just look at the blue, the white, the red, everything fantastic. You even have a pearlescent here paint on the centerpiece right there as well as the top of the helmet right there. I have to say, <sighs> Wow. I think this figure might go up in value. Yeah, this one, this one is easily, yeah. easily going. To yeah, I, I think it will. If I were to say out of the three that will go up or heart will be harder to find, it would have to be Wing Zero. So yeah, I have to say in paint detail, it looks absolutely fantastic. When it comes to articulation and scale, let's see how tall this guy is standing. He's standing at six inches, and let's compare him with everyone else. So here he is with Easy Eight. And strike Gundam. Let me just say that I can't help but love Gundam Universe. They made an inexpensive, good looking action figure with almost everything you need. There are some corners that are cut, but wow, they are really doing a good job with this line. And this is something that the Gundam action figure community needed. There, I said it. <laughs> uh, here, let's compare him with regular Gundam Wing. So here he is. Boom, right there. That's how they look together. I love the way Zero looks much better. So you can get these two together. Oh man, I hope they make the rest of the Endless Waltz um, <laughs> Gundams because those designs were woo, woo, fantastic. Uh, here we go. Goku, UI Goku. And of course he broke the barrier and decided to fight Captain America. That's how he stands next to Marvel Legends Cap. And we have Neon Genesis Evangelion Robot Damashi. And just because he's here on the table, I totally keep forgetting him. Kid Goku. Sure. <laughs> Let's go over articulation. Now, he has a lot of stuff going on. I will do another articulation check once I get his wings on. So, let's do an articulation check without the wings. Can he fly in space? <laughs> yeah, of course he can. Front kick, side kick, flying knee. Sure, you can... Um, 
So you can get ready for a pose right here. And there you have it. Looking really good. Can he hug you? There you go. Give me a big hug. Thank you, Wing Zero. I know I forgot about you, but now I remember how awesome you are. All right, so we're going to look at the accessories, then we will outfit them. Of course, we have the wings. We don't get the beam saber? We don't. They're going to have to share. <laughs> Do we not? Huh? No beam saber. I swore he came with beam sabers. I was going to say, I think more and more it was happening that they were given only like a major gun to use hmm. is that wrong uh yeah they each have their own special weapon but i'm so sure that wings are had to be anyway uh let's look here we have the dual rifles right here we have the wings and it looks to be we actually get the the base for the the sabers but we're going to look at that later and the back of the packaging for everyone who's wondering it's the smaller wings as everything falls out that you're going to have to outfit Wow, they really went all out with this figure. They didn't have to give this to us, but they said, you know what? We love you guys. And I said, we're going to give it to you. Whoa! There's too many wings! There's too many! Oh, no! Why is there so many wings? All right, Janelle. Uh, take us to the front cam. I am not going to do this on YouTube, but you can't watch Let's look it. at this guy. Wow, look at... This beautiful wingspan right here. Uh, one thing I have to say is that the wing attachments only go in one way. And I have to say this looks really nice. They are a little bit brittle. Is it playable? I'd have to say still, yeah, it should be. It looks like they don't get in the way too much. And that looks really nice. So one more thing before we end this video. Um, actually... Before I put on the rifles. So Moments later. Oh, man. All right, here we go. That's the best I'm going to get out of this guy. Oh, man. So, <laughs> wow, that was a little bit difficult. So, let's talk about this right now. So, because he's lacking butterfly joints, you cannot do this. You cannot do this easily. If all it took was just to give him two joints right here, I guess that's more manufacturing cost, mm. uh, to give it a little bit more give so he can hug himself, and that would have been much easier. Right now, we are really, really pushing this plastic. Uh, I'm afraid it might snap if you keep it like this forever, or it might stay that way. So, yeah, that's really not cool. But at the same time, let's look at this guy fully posed right now. Let's move the paper. Look at that. Whoa. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty sick. If you can get him to just stay this way, then you're good to go. Okay? <laughs> but the problem, like I said, I guess we could just have him with the two with the two rifles, which is fine too. He does use two at the same time. And there you have it. So let's stand up these guys and let's come up with a conclusion. And Janelle, you can help me with this conclusion. <laughs> The wing one is definitely my favorite. Yeah. All right. Definitely. But they're all beautiful. They're all beautiful. They are. I, I love this set. about the sabers, but... <laughs> I love this. I love I've this. I've come to accept this about a lot of them. You know what? Someone in chat said that he doesn't really even use the sabers, so whatever. Uh, let's come up with the conclusion of these three figures of Gundam Universe. We're looking at Wing Zero, Strike Gundam, and the Easy 8. I love all three. They all look good. My biggest issue, as I said before, is Wing Zero definitely needs butterfly joints to keep the to put the two rifles together, which you can put together. It takes a little bit of time to build him, but once you do, you have a really nice looking Gundam for only twenty two ninety nine. Wow, 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 wow! That's a really good deal. Uh, I have a feeling this guy will be the hardest one to come across in the wild if you're not getting it online. But my personal favorite. Uh, even though I do love Wing, haven't seen it in a while, I do make it a thing to at least try to watch 8th MS Team at least once every two or three years just because it's such a good anime. I love that anime. One of my favorite um, 
designs in Gundam is the Goof Custom, and it's only in that one. And that's my favorite looking design in Mecha, I think, ever. And I hope they eventually make that one. So Janelle, come up with a conclusion. I have to say, in my opinion, this is easily a worth it set, especially oh, yeah. for the cost. Oh yeah, especially since you can buy the entire set for the price of one of the other upscale toys that mm -hmm. we typically talk about on our channel. Like, this is this is an easy buy if you love Gundams, for sure. Cool. So there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. This will be on YouTube. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're always in the know when we post new videos. Get these at www.vstartoys.com. Last plug. And don't forget to go in the description and continue the conversation on Discord. Down in the link tree. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.